Hey everybody, welcome to my iPhone. I uh, just wanted to show you what I call the goose apocalypse. Uh, in Canada, we have Canada geese. And this was quite the impressive sight. There must have been a few hundred of these things flying around. And uh, yeah, it, it was it was absolutely crazy, man. I mean, this is this is this is a, this is a pond in a suburb of Toronto with these geese flying all around. I mean, have you ever seen anything like that before? Where they're just like, uh. And, and, and you think that's crazy, man. You should see this. This is when they get really loud. Dude, like, yeah, there must have been twice as many. Um, pretty loud. Recorded on my iPhone. I thought, hey, why not just show it while I can. But enough for that. <laughs> All right, let's uh, go over to our Telerec demo as I wanted to show. Um, let's see here. Come on, buddy. Okay, so I've shown this before with the line charts. Uh, I have just posted this, but you can see, you can do the same thing as what I, I showed before with, um, with uh, I the iPad. But here, obviously, this is on a, on a freaking iPhone. So trying to do this on... Python or any other language is just a real pain in the ass. Uh, so this is why I'm probably using this uh, library, uh, again called, uh, let's see if it flips. Will it go? Come on, baby. No, I guess not. Um, yeah, so I've, I've obviously shown this on an iPad. Same code using Swift again, and the, the library again is called Telerec uh, UI for iOS, and uh, it's pretty nice. So I just want to show you that. Uh, also, I thought the um, the um, the Goose uh, Apocalypse was just as important as well. Okay, uh, hopefully I'll help you out uh, showing you the Telerec in Swift for iOS devices, specifically on an iPhone, especially the iPhone devices you can see here over and out.